start us off. Firstly, it was uh, great fun growing up in the Selwood household. We were the best of mates and we loved mucking around with each other. Things got uh, rough, competitive and uh, may have ended in a few cuts and bruises. Growing up in the Selwood household, uh, we came from Bendigo, so we were in country Victoria, plenty of space. Uh, we had the park across the road where we'd meet all the kids in the street, kick the footy, uh, Selwood's onto the rest. Um, we also had a tennis court in the backyard, so there was plenty of fun games that we enjoyed, uh, which always ended in a few tears as well, so it was good fun. Yeah, I think favourite childhood memory for me and probably you guys as well is just kicking the footy in the backyard in Bendigo. Yeah, it may have involved Adam and I roughing both you boys up a little bit because we were bigger and stronger. It's amazing how things change though, because I reckon right now Scott's the strongest and I'm just behind him. Don't doubt it. <laughs> uh, heading to Ocean Grove and Barwon Heads as a kid, uh, every January we'd get in the car, uh, we'd head there for a week, we'd camp, we'd go to the beach, and then we'd head to the Australian Open on the way home and watch some tennis. So, always a good memory. Uh, Dad enjoyed it. Um, I think he was glad by the end of the week to uh, get us back home though. It's an easy one, this one. Adam used to think he was a real smooth operator when it came to uh, pulling pranks while we were younger. Yeah, and you'll see some of these pranks pulled throughout the book. Um, but they, yeah, I think they it, didn't always work, did they? I think it's fair to say that some of them backfired sometimes would be myself. Um, Troy and Scoot, or Scotty, was usually in the firing line. Um, they may have received vinegar in some of their soft drinks or uh, some mustard buttered on their toast covered with Vegemites. The Selwood Boys series uh, is a fun book. Uh, it's obviously designed for any type of reader. Well, the Selwood series books will give you an insight onto the childhood that we lived uh, growing up in Bendigo. Yeah, I think it's obviously got a lot of football and sporting stories in there, but it's also got a lot, a lot of the lessons that we've learned along the way as well. Yeah, you don't have to be a footy kid to really enjoy the books. It's based around football and sport and family and good times, so hopefully everyone will enjoy it. And the advice to be an AFL player would be to enjoy your football, uh, listen to your coaches when you go to training. Uh, it's important that you have fun but uh, you've got to make sure that when you cross the line, you're serious and, and you want to get the most out of your training sessions. So. Be prepared to listen and don't give up on your dream. And uh, most importantly, just make sure you enjoy the journey and have fun. Mm -hmm.